guys, today I'm bringing you a video about the new free DLC gun in Advanced Warfare, the M1 Irons Revolver. So the other day, I stayed up all night waiting for the new M1 Irons to drop on Xbox One, but 360 users got it first at like 2 in the morning, and then Conjury tweeted out saying that it wouldn't be on Xbox One until 10 a.m. So I was like, nope, not, not gonna bother, good night. <laughs> and then I overslept, and then I couldn't play the DLC for a little bit. So anyways, the M1 Irons is a free DLC gun, and it's only out on Xbox One and 360 at the moment. PS4, PC, we'll get it next month, I'm sure. It's a revolver pistol, and it's not only fun to use, but it's pretty cool. It's not some super overpowered gun, it's a decent gun. Not super good, not super bad. You'll still get wrecked by people using an assault rifle or SMG, obviously. And hardcore, this thing is a one-shot kill no matter how far the enemy is, so it's definitely fun to use in hardcore. In regular modes, it's a two-shot up close and three-shot at medium range and four at long range. This thing has absolutely no recoil at all, and if you have a good trigger finger like me, then you can fire it pretty fast. And I was a beast with a foul in 5.7 in Black Ops 2 because I could shoot it really fast. I remember when people used to think I was cheating with rapid fire or a modded controller. But anyways, the downsides to this gun are aiming with it may be a little weird for some people. And the biggest downside is that this gun only has six shots. It's a revolver and there's no extended mags attachment. You have six shots and that's it. It takes at least two to kill someone, and it's easy to miss, so it's really hard when you run into like two people. Even if you come up behind people and they're jumping around, it can be hard to kill them. Sometimes you can get a one shot if the enemy is already weakened because one shot from the M1 irons deals a ton of damage. Think of it like a sniper. Someone gets shot by any gun and then you shoot their leg with a sniper, you'll get a one shot kill because they were already weakened. As for attachments, personally I use tactical knife, advanced rifling, and quick draw on it. Tactical knife is really fun. I never used it before in advanced warfare, but it seems like it has a longer range than the Black Ops 2 tack knife. And it's a really good backup weapon if you run into multiple people facing the other way. And you can't silence the M1 iron, so everyone will know where you are when you shoot. And advanced rifling to increase range, obviously. The less bullets you need to drop one person, the better since you only have six shots before a reload. I tried getting some variants for the gun. I got the professional sundown variant and the professional showdown variant. And the sundown has increased range, which you can combine with advanced rifling for even more range boosts. And the showdown has a Kimbo on it. Running dual M1 irons is actually beast because it's a two shot kill. So one shot from each pistol, pew, is enough to basically be instant death as soon as you shoot if your aim is good. I didn't get the outlaw or unforgiving truth variants, which look pretty cool, but oh well. The gun isn't really the best to use if you're trying to win a game or both teams are pretty good. It's fun to use. It's definitely not a bad gun unless you have bad aim and it's a free DLC gun so yay for free. <laughs> and it also has some cool animations when you swap weapons. The hip fire is pretty cool and you could basically run around like Ocelot from Metal Gear but anyways that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did make sure to hit that like button in the face and subscribe to join the Wolfpack. Ow! I upload a new video every single day. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.